Now here we are dealing with aerobic respiration. Okay. Now you see aerobic respiration takes place within the mitochondria. This we all know. And in the earlier classes we have dealt with uh, glycolysis. Okay. Now glycolysis you see during aerobic respiration it is broken down into pyruvate, a three carbon compound. And then later on this pyruvate has to be uh, converted into carbon dioxide. Okay. Now this uh, pyruvate is uh, broken down to CO2 by two main processes. Now you know the first process is C, stepwise removal of hydrogen atom and the release of CO2. Okay. Now you see, whenever in a redox reaction happens, one part gets oxidized, another part gets reduced. So see, if glucose molecule it removes hydrogen, that means it is oxidized. Okay. And that electron uh, has to be transported to oxygen. Okay. So this is uh, one is reduced and another one is oxidized. Okay. So this process of uh, transport of electron from hydrogen to oxygen happens through an electron transport chain and this indirectly synthesizes the ATP. Now we had uh, discussed that it happens in the mitochondria but uh, see the inner mass uh, actual sign of the first step is inner matrix, inner matrix of the mitochondrial matrix and the second the electron transport chain happens in the inner membrane and here you know this process is known as oxidative decarboxylation okay why carboxylation because from glucose carbon dioxide is removed okay so that is oxidative decarboxylation and during this process you know the enzyme that is involved is pyruvate dehydrogenase then another acetyl coenzyme A I have written only coenzyme and NAD now NAD uh, is reduced to NADH two molecules of NADH that means from two molecules of pyruvic acid we get two molecules of uh, NADH okay now you know in this the acetyl coenzyme A is used okay and uh, and with the help of pyruvate dehydrogenase. So now this acetyl co enzyme A, acetyl coenzyme A enters a cycle that is known as Krebs cycle or P. Tri carboxylic acid cycle. So, this TCA would, would be the next topic that we would be dealing with. So, you know, you see the main difference between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration is through glycolysis, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, the, uh, oxygen is added to glucose and it gets converted into the pyruvate. Now that pyruvate gets converted into CO2 because we are dealing with respiration and in anaerobic condition this pyruvate is converted into lactic acid or ethanol. Okay, in our previous class we had already done and you know here see the synthesis of ATP is there, synthesis of NADH is there but in case of anaerobic respiration this glycolysis part is entirely absent and this pyruvate is converted into lactic acid in case of muscle cells and in, uh, and in certain cases it is converted into ethanol. Okay. So that is known as alcoholic fermentation that is commercially used in beverage factories and all. But you know the main difference is between aerobic and anaerobic respiration is the synthesis of ATP here is maximum because complete oxidation of glucose is there and in other case it is an incomplete oxidation of glucose is there. Now if you can see here in your book you see pyruvic acid plus coenzyme A 
plus NAD gives you, you see, ma and uh, magnesium ions are required and you see, I had, as I had told you, the enzyme required is pyruvate dehydrogenase. You get acetyl coenzyme plus carbon dioxide plus NADH plus the hydrogen ion. Okay. Now here, in the second part, you see, that is known as tricarboxylic acid cycle. Now this tricarboxylic acid cycle, you know, more commonly that is known as a Krebs cycle after the scientist Hans Krebs who has first elucidated. That means he first invented that. Now you see the TCA, this starts from the constant condensation of the acetyl group with, the, with oxaloacetic acid, OAA. And water to yield citric acid that means what OA plus the carbon dioxide oxaloacetic acid you see and water come form together the citric acid okay and this citric acid forms a substrate from this Krebs reaction now you see the reaction is catalyzed by enzyme see the enzyme it is known as citrate synthase and one molecule of coenzyme A is released and the citrate is then isomer to isocitrate. That means first you get citrate and from citrate you get the isocitrate and it is followed by two successive steps of C. Again decarboxylation leading to the formation of keto, alpha keto glutric acid. And you know this reaction until and unless you follow the complete you see this okay you see pyruvic acid is a three carbon sugar from there acetyl coenzyme a then acetyl coenzyme a then mixes see with water and produces citric acid now with the citric acid it releases uh, co2 nad nad then it is converted into alpha gluto alpha ketoglutric acid from alpha ketoglutric acid again this carbon dioxide is removed then NADH plus H positive then GDP and from there it is converted into succinic acid and from succinic acid again it is converted into malic acid and from malic acid again the oxaloacetic acid so you have to remember that in this Krebs cycle oxalo as um, see acetyl coenzyme A it is converted into citric acid first uh, acetyl coenzyme A mixes with oxaloacetic acid plus water gives you citric acid citric acid then gets converted into alpha keto ketoglutric acid from there it gets converted into succinic acid from succinic acid it gets to malic acid and then again the oxaloacetic acid so this is a cycle now in the remaining step the C citric acid success uh, suck, suck, cy, uh, citric acid cycle the succinyl CO2 is oxidized again to OAA oxaloacetic acid and the circle continues so during the conversion of the succinyl CA the succinic acid the molecule see the GDP is synthesized so this is a substrate level for uh, phosphorylation and in a coupled reaction with GTP GTP you see GDP and GTP NAD and NADH FAD and FADH2 okay now this continuous oxidation of acetyl coenzyme A via the TCA cycle continuous replenishment of oxaloacetic acid so the first number of cycle in addition to this require regeneration of NAD and FAD positive from NADH and FADH2 respectively now here you see this is a see pyruvic acid NAD FA2 this mitochondrial matrix and this is the equation it is given down okay so uh, it is a uh, it is respiration and neither in these process see oxygen has come to the picture we haven't discussed that but we know that oxygen in respiration and has ATP to synthesis okay so next part would be the electron transport chain and oxidative phosphorylation that will give us how oxygen is released okay so go through the video